Three stocks I'm buying now, February 2020 edition. Welcome in guys to my favorite series I do on this channel each and every month where I tell you about three stocks I'm planning on buying in the current month or already am buying and why I'm buying those stocks. So I hope you guys All right, so this is our good friend Jeremy here from the Financial Education Channel. Wonderful channel, I'll put the link in the description. We're gonna be looking at doing a reaction to the three stocks that he is selected. Uh, we're gonna be coming, he's more fundamental dri fundamentally driven um, with a lot of the data and so forth. I'm more technical, so we're gonna, I'm gonna combine the two and give my uh, spiel on if the three stocks that he uh, suggested are worth buying in or around his pricing. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the first chart. The very first start he said is RV. Oh, I cannot talk. Real. Re, uh, Relove Group. So this is a company that does like cosmetics and like the, you see this is very common with uh, like Instagram influencers. You see this company. They own a. A huge group of multiple other they make their own products they own like, i think a, a large handful of other smaller companies that fall under this group and a lot of the products they sell are a lot of the ones you see on facebook and instagram and this is something so you can go to the store and buy they just do like these via the sites um that being said uh jeremy loves this one uh, buying in this for the long term, uh, suggesting that the growth is great, uh, that the climate is changing from going to the mall, which is that's kind of been going in the sense of uh, where Macy's is closing down stores, uh, Targets and Walmarts are getting less foot traffic for the the non basic items because everything can just be Amazon or shipped to you from someone else, or you can just buy everything on Amazon basically. <laughs> Um, that being said, uh, we're, we're here to talk about it technically. Uh, we're going to be looking at, it was a recent IPO of last year. Uh, had a huge jump up to 48, but it hasn't seen that since and just been trailing all the way down, breaking between the 200. Never a good sign. Continually downtrend here around 14. I do like this, this, this pattern here. Um, we're gonna make a little box around this. I'm gonna do this a little more in depth. I was asked to draw more, categorize things. I wanna watch this box here. So this box is very important. You see that things are no longer going down to the right. It's, it's kind of steadying off. It's kind of leveling off. And this is probably a fair market price Again, if the thing goes wrong, they have earnings coming up on February 25th. Uh, this <clears throat> would like to see where this goes. Um, I would, if I would, if I had no position on right now, I would might I would add a very your starter sign. So let's, for example, if you were buying a hundred shares, just buy 20, 25 now, and see where it goes. If it drops below your low of 14, 15 dollars, you can get out. Um, or depending on why it goes down, you can add more. Whatever your trading thesis is, you normally I will I might be buying a small chunk of this here at this point, maybe 20, 25 shares, um, and then potentially see if it runs up into earnings. Or uh, since the earnings has in the past created big buying opportunities or drops, I want to see if what what comes out from there. I do like this. For the long term, if this can continue going higher, because this we saw this pattern with Uber, everyone, where the IPO came, it literally just went tanked for a while, kind of leveled off, and then it kind of climbed higher. Um, <clears throat> it, again, it's only been out for uh, less than a year. That <clears throat> on the weekly chart, you can kind of see it too, and a little bit more, uh, uh, a little more realistic on the building of a base here. Uh, so you see the five and the eight uh, exponential moving average on the weekly has kind of leveled off and actually started trading sideways, which is great. Um, and it's, you can see that it's had trouble breaking through the 21 on the weekly. If this 21 or this uh, the the pink line can cross into the yellow line and on an upward trajectory, 
that would be a great opportunity because you can see here on this opportunity here where the, uh, the pink line crosses below the yellow that kills a fellow and it just came crashing down um, due to that if you're trading move rate averages and looking at that side of things so if we do I can do Fibonacci retracements but I don't think it's gonna be doing much of a difference here because it's not even so we would like to see it back up here to the 200 uh, here on so around $30 that would be extremely bullish if it can get, ever get back up to $30 um, let's do one more I want to look at it on the volume chart you saw a nice little pickup in volume in December of uh, last year uh, and it kind of has been trading in around that area the trend is kind of waving back and forth but it's nothing as crazy as you can see here this is literally pointing down so if we can just literally just draw a nice little trend line like this like it broke right right here so this is it's starting a brand new uh, base here which we like which is good for technical analysis um, let's go ahead and look at the deviations it's been trading uh, normally with earnings it does go break out on the lower three deviations so if, if you do you could just wait for this one honestly and see how earnings plays uh, if you're impatient like myself which is not a good quality for an investor at times uh, you can just buy in a very small position and see how earnings plays out uh, because again the last two earnings have been down and I don't like uh, it's not saying it could be down or could be it could be up substantially we don't know again earnings is everything I believe is a coin flip because they can have great numbers and everything but uh, if the CEOs say something like because it's two founders um, they say something negative it can just be a coin flip and then it can be all downhill from there even though they had great numbers so I like that it's trading in this range really good uh, final thoughts takeaways uh, be buying this around the 1875 level uh, and seeing where it can take us because the next resistance is probably around 21 and then 24, 26, and then this gap up here, which we, I would like for to see it uh, to get back up to this level, which is around $28. So this is actually a great uh, a stock to get into. So I give uh, Jeremy a nice little clap for that. Um, actually, and then the other one he suggested, let's go back to the main chart go to daily is CCL which I don't know if everyone's been on a cruise I'm that's not my kind of thing um, but with this coronavirus going around it's it's, it's gonna be a tough 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 thing to own a uh, travel th right now um, owning a cruise line and the fact of that and you can clearly see here this coronavirus cruise has been around for for a minute it's literally been below the 200 like this is just this is not a good sign um, unless you want to get in like at the super lows at like the 40 like this could be a good buying opportunity here potentially but with the coronavirus and all those issues of that um, it could be issues and issues sorry about that my mic went uh, the, the red light went off and I actually wasn't disconnected it just the LED and the light looked like it died anywho uh, so we're talking about Carnival Cruise uh, the overall downtrend of everything how it has been the big fear of the coronavirus and how it might not be the greatest opportunity to buy now yes the overall the weakness of coronavirus will bring the stock down which will be a great buying opportunity but that being said you just don't know how long it's gonna last like so if you look back on like SARS and other thing that created a global uh, gridlock and a lot of travel and stuff like that lasted about three months so we're basically in month and one now so this could go on for another two months so the end of March beginning of April we could see a nice turn up in uh, cruises and uh, the cruise stock this is the only stock that actually Jeremy did recommend that I'm not too gun ho about just because of the coronavirus uh, and the, the different variances behind that. And honestly, I'm not a cruise kind of person, so it's kind of hard for me to get behind this like a cruise company. Um, but overall, you can see the long term trend here. This is three weeks. We can go into monthly in a second. This has just been completely knocked down. We can draw some little make believe trend lines here. Uh, now, when I do do that long, we'll just go right here. boom like that 
um, and uh, he, uh, you can see here that uh, the trend is basically above this little price line here. So anywhere of like the 47 some odd fourth, it, it could be a breaking trend, but we haven't seen anything like we did in the previous company where it kind of builds a base. It has not been dropping. It hasn't broken this low here, which is a good thing. So if it breaks this low, this would probably indicate a pretty good buying opportunity. And if you had to give me the over under, I would likely bet that it's going to hit the low before it even gets to this top up here, $50. So it's probably going to hit the $40 before it's going to hit $50 because we're at 42.83 ish today. Uh, and it could potentially just go down to the 39 level and then we'll just go um, from there. That, da, da. let's see, I want to do the deviation here. Deviation, this is well outside of the three deviation, which is actually quite interesting. So this potentially could go lower, as you can see here. Um, once it breaks out the three deviation, it, that's where it hit its all time low uh, for the, well actually for the, it's going a super long term turns right here. So yeah, actually, because the Jeremy did, didn't make this very clear too. He's like, he, I'm not buying this for being growth investing. I just want to kind of buy this for like the dividend and you can uh, potentially and potentially of getting some growth. Um, but the downtrend is here, like on the monthly chart from the 72, basically of 18 all the way down. It's just been going down. Um, and that's not a really good look to be quite honest, right? Um, I like to see this lower. Like I, that's why I have the alert at 39.93. I might just add like a really small position. Like I just want to track this. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to be an investor in this. If I get a couple shares of this, that's fine. Um, but this could be a great little dividend play. I do like. Well, the past couple of years has been kind of stagnant. Um, but this swing down is kind of like, eh, what's going on here? Like. Is there, is there is a lot of competition in the cruise lines, even though there's only like four or five companies, but I, I don't know from my perspective, if someone said, what's a carnival cruise between a Norwegian cruise, the only thing I can tell you the difference is, is if it's like a Disney cruise. I feel like a lot of people who go on cruises would probably have kids, and I I, I just I understand it's like a budget vacation thing. I don't take many, many vacations because I'm strange like that. But uh, the overall trend is lower, so I wouldn't be just jumping in on f full, uh, jumping in, uh, jumping on this boat, get it, the boat, uh, all at once here. And then last but not least, uh, we have the other stock that Jeremy talked about, which I own and we'll be adding to this position. I wanted to add after earnings, but I wanted to see how far it dropped. It only dropped... And it didn't even break my price. It barely broke my price target. I think I had like a 204 and it just cut right through. And I was like, ooh, that's a that's kind of scary. Um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, make a nice V-shaped bottom. Coming back to the 21, I want this to kind of consolidate for a little bit. And then we'll see where we go from there. But <sighs> Facebook, let's be honest, like love it or hate it. They have Instagram. They got WhatsApp. Like... I don't use any of the services besides WhatsApp, but it's it's I see if I'm sitting in line or if I'm uh, going walking on the way to work or things like that, it's all I just see everyone on Instagram. So and that's all I hear about is all these businesses pumping money into Instagram ads and profiles and things like that. I just I think it's it's here to stay, even though I don't think it's the greatest product uh, to man. Um, but it's here to stay and I want to get on the money train here uh, for Facebook because there's no there is no competition to Facebook right now um, I like to see this potentially go higher of course uh, at, at to hit its all-time highs and that being said because it usually after earnings like the couple times that it's had really bad earnings it'll trend lower for like a week or two um, you can see here kind of just fizzled off, but then the 21 really held it in. Um, we can go bring this to a longer time, longer time frame here. It's nowhere near its top in the RSI. Touch the 21 on the weekly, which I kind of do like, and I should have honestly 
I just didn't have the guts to buy it, guys. I, I'll be honest with you. Didn't have the confidence. I just was kind of worried too much about the coronavirus. But Facebook has nothing to do with the coronavirus, right? Because it's, it's, you can do it on your phone. Um, anyways, that's what sometimes you have fear in the market and you just it stops you from pulling the trigger and emotions get the best of you. Um, that being said, I like to add to this. Uh, I think I kind of missed the train. Uh, I've been in this for quite some time. Um, but I'll get another opportunity to add some more um, in Facebook. Long term, I think it's a great move higher so we can go further out. Let's do here. Yeah, like this has just been on the monthly, just been holding the 21 pretty well, minus this really terrible sell off. And that was due to uh, the Cambridge Analytica and the data stuff and all this way people were hacking and misusing data and how people didn't know that the data was available and all that fun stuff. So that was there. That was a big kadoffle. But uh, that being said, on the monthly chart, it looks wonderful. Very, very strong um, on the monthly chart if you're holding it long term like myself. So that being said, these are the three stocks that we're looking at. The other one I actually wanted to, to show you again is actually up oh, and it didn't work. Let's see here. CC. Oh. All right. Wanted to see if that was okay. That is not anywhere near the RSI level down here. So this was not even touching red. So it didn't even touch the red here. Uh, up on the day on the daily. Let's go back to the daily. Yeah, it didn't even didn't, didn't touch it. Barely touched it here, but it kind of nice bounce back. But anyways, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these uh, more technical, in depth. Uh, reaction videos, please let me know down below. Again, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!